Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Steel and Steam. This game was developed by Red Meat Games, and it is currently available for $10 as of April 2nd. Steel and Steam was the subject of a successful Kickstarter campaign in 2013, in which they raised almost 350% of their goal. Steel and Steam is a classically styled JRPG from the 8 or 16-bit era, in which you take control of Noah Phoenix and his best friend Alyssa Noble as they attempt to save their dying world by resurrecting elemental guardians of old. Oh man, that is one JRPG-ass JRPG setup if I've ever heard one. But actually, that's the thing I really like about Steel and Steam. They are unapologetically targeting a specific time frame in the life cycle of the Japanese RPG. They don't care that the genre has evolved and changed with time. They want to take you back to that 8 and 16-bit era, back to games like Final Fantasy, Dragon Warrior, or Fantasy Star, and they want to let you relive those days over again with an ever so slight veneer of modern technology. And I have to say, in terms of pulling off that particular goal, they are 100% successful. This game feels like it would be right at home on the Sega Genesis, and I wouldn't question if you were to tell me that this is some game that they found tucked away deep in some vault somewhere that was never released in the 16-bit era. I mean, it really does have everything. You've got that epic storyline with young people overcoming giant odds to save the world. You've got that oh-so-familiar battle system where you'll be selecting your actions, drinking potions, and casting magic in order to overcome enemies. You'll get into random encounters as you haplessly stumble around the map trying to find your way. You'll level up your characters, unveiling new and spectacular powers and abilities. You'll uncover the legends and lore of the world that your characters inhabit through side quests and interacting with NPCs. In short, if you've got an itch for a classic Japanese-style RPG, then Steel and Steam is going to scratch the hell out of it. Now, while that is a great strength for the game and fans of the genre, it is, unfortunately, a fatal flaw for someone like myself. Every perfectly executed JRPG trope of yesteryear reminds me of all the things that I now despise about this particular type of game. Listen, I am spoiled to the modern RPG. I will be the first person to admit it. I can't go back. I know I could never go back and play the Final Fantasy games that I loved so much, play the Fantasy Star games that I loved so much, and get that same enjoyment out of them. In fact, at this point, I can't even get a nostalgic enjoyment out of those games. I can't put myself in the frame of mind that I would have been in when I was in a place to enjoy the tedium of a game like this. Listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie here. I played two hours of this game. I forced myself to play an hour and a half of this game. After the first 30 minutes, my eyes were crossing. I, I couldn't take it anymore, but I tried to persevere. And ultimately, I want that hour and a half of my life back. I wish I had stopped playing this game after the first 30 minutes, but that's just my opinion. That's just a subjective criticism that I personally have of this game. When viewed through an objective lens, I think this game hits its mark so well that I have to give it my highest recommendation, not because I like it, but because what it is and what they've achieved with this game excites me. Listen, it's really easy to take a classic game and fix its little warts when you reinterpret it, to take a game like a platformer and dress it up with new mechanics, to dress it up with modern game design, but it's really admirable when someone looks at a genre with such love that they're willing to bring it back in the modern day, warts and all, and present it to fans of that genre. And that's really what it comes down to. This game wasn't made for me. It was made for a specific audience who still holds not just nostalgia for these games, but reverence, who hold these games up as some of the best ever made. If you are one of those people, then I would say it's your duty to look deeper into Steel and Steam. If you would like more information on Steel and Steam, check the description below for all of the relevant links. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.